Hello Hawks, I wish I could be with you in person to celebrate this milestone with you and your families. Tonight, you are being inducted into Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, Alpha Z Mu Chapter at Henry Ford College. This organization is built on the high ideals of community service, fellowship, and scholarship. I want you to know that I'm proud of you. All of us at Henry Ford College are very proud of you. Tonight is a great opportunity to celebrate during a time when we have not been doing a lot of celebrating. We celebrate you, your outstanding academic achievements, leadership, and connection to others. You have chosen to excel, succeeding in an honor society on top of your studies and personal responsibilities. You are choosing to do that work to invest in your future and your community in the midst of a pandemic. You are doing this because you are leaders and because you want to make the world around you better for others. Some of the connections you are making now as a student and as a member of PTK will last an entire lifetime. Much of what you are learning is setting the stage for a great future. So I encourage you to take advantage of the many resources PTK offers, both at HFC and as you make your next steps after you graduate. I want to recognize the officers in your, in your organization. They are President Yasmin Berry, Vice President Fatma Chowbri, Secretary Walla Baizun, Treasurer Trey Harpole, PR Historian Jaina Jadala, the VP for Scholarship Amal Berry, the B VP for Service Joslyn Cortez, the VT VP for Fellowship Dorade Mehar, the VP for Leadership Kara Noel. Thank you to these officers for the hard work you put in and for demonstrating the PTK ethics of service, scholarship, leadership, and fellowship. These officers and all of you in PTK are among the very best and the very brightest at Henry Ford College. And that is a high bar. You should be proud of that. My congratulations also goes to tonight's 23 inductees. I want to say your names here now to honor you. Now, I have to ask with a person with a strange last name, please forgive me if I have any pronunciation errors. Noor Abadi, Rania Abdullah, Samira Alzaidi, Sali Aid, Walla Bezun, Fatma Chowdhury, Jocelyn Cortez, Emmanuel Denha, Madusa Ellerson, Aya Faran, Laura Fisher, Destiny Green, Trey Harpole, Brandy Hinson, Aya Jadala, Noor Kalib, Sarah Lozier, Sarah Norris, Ashley Sanchez Benejas, Joshua Steinhebel, Lucia Villa, Chad Woodring, Kelly Woodson. Congratulations, new PTK members. Tonight, you join an organization that has more than 1,200 chapters and 2 million members worldwide. This international group is more than 110 years old and it has a proud legacy, including 32 years at Henry Ford College. 
I know that each of you will add to this legacy in your own way, throughout your own life. And I know you will take your successes and pay them forward, helping others find and achieve their highest dreams. Whatever you do, I hope you will take with you what you learned at Henry Ford College. I hope you will hold fast to the ethic of diversity, equity, and inclusion, and that you will pursue social justice for all. I hope you will seek leadership positions in public, nonprofit, and corporate arenas. I want to say thank you to Dr. Laura Yagel and to all the HFC faculty who have supported, guided, and instructed our PTK students this year and every year. Your selfless dedication helps create the next generation of leaders, and this valuable work is supported by you all. All we have to do is look around you. In society, we see the impact of good leadership and the impact of poor leadership. We need good leadership. We need people who are willing to be public servants, who will put their communities and fellow citizens first. Now, Fatma Chowdhury asked me to speak to you a bit about change and problem solving. I wanna go off script a bit and just tell you, change is something that you will encounter for the rest of your life. And it will be very likely something that'll be uncomfortable for you and for the people around you. I'd ask you to consider this. If you can be someone who accepts and who embraces change, then you'll be a ahead. You'll be a leader in your society. And as you face change, help those who are fearful of it or concerned about it to understand some things. First, change in itself is uncomfortable, but oftentimes necessary. Second, change isn't about people. It's about processes meant to help people. So find out why are things needing to be changed? You'll find this in data, and outcomes with processes you're involved in. And then take those data and those processes and show the people around you that change is necessary so that the people who are affected by those processes can get more and be more successful as a result. I also wanted to talk to you about problem solving. Frankly, you all have had a master class in problem solving over the last year because you've been dealing with learning at a college level during a pandemic. You frankly have encountered things that me and almost a hundred years worth of people before you had never encountered when they were in college. So think about that. How have you overcome the challenges? How have you overcome the problems you faced as a college student during the pandemic? You'll see you identified things that weren't working. You tried ways to overcome them. When they worked, you tried them in other ways, in other parts of your life. When they didn't work, you tried something else. But the thing that got you through, I suspect, was an idea in your head that you could overcome this problem and surrounding yourself with people who agreed with you. That optimism, that willingness to take on problems, that, that idea, is what will help you get through problems. So I hope, Fatma, that answers some of your questions. I'll end by saying congratulations to all of you, new inductees and current PTK members, faculty and families. Congratulations for your accomplishment and for the extraordinary support you have provided to help each student earn this milestone. The reason I'm here at Henry Ford College is to support you in reaching your goals. I am here for you. I look forward to seeing what each of you accomplishes in your future. Your talent and dedication will take you anywhere you wanna go. And I wish you well in getting there. Again, congratulations, have a great night, and I'll see you on campus very soon.